Good morning from Milano. I am sitting here thinking about my future self. And maybe that sounds a little cheesy, but there's something that I heard this week that really landed with me. Let me backtrack for a minute. One of my mentors, Chip Conley, Chip is the co-founder of the Modern Elder Academy where I went in Baja, California recently, just came out with a new book called Learning to Love Midlife, 12 Reasons Why Life Gets Better with Age. Now, I haven't read it yet. I just downloaded it. But he's been doing the media circuit, and he was recently in conversation on Good Morning America with Hoda and Jenna. For those of you who are listening from outside of the United States, Good Morning America is one of our classic morning shows. And it was a really rich segment because he was really in his element. And he said so many of the things that I've heard before. But you know how it is when you hear something, and you've heard it many times before, but there's that one time when it really lands with you. This was just one of those. He was talking about anticipated regret as a form of wisdom. Social science research shows that we regret what we didn't do twice as much as the things we did that we wish we hadn't done. Let me say that again. So basically, the weight of our regret is twice as heavy around the things that we didn't do, like we thought about, but we didn't do them, twice as much as the things we did that we wish we hadn't done. I was like, whoa. And I don't know, it just hit me differently when I heard it this time. Maybe it's because I'm thinking about our conversation on Sunday. If you haven't heard, if you stumbled upon this and you haven't heard, this Sunday, February 4th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the first gathering of what I'm calling the rocket fuel group. And rocket fuel is very simple. It's about doing the work and being conscientious and intentional about creating a life you love. It's like a little simple recipe, and it's broken into three parts. One part is about a big, hairy, audacious goal for the year. Another part is about cultivating openness and curiosity and doing something different, something you normally wouldn't do every other month. And the other thing is about the introduction of a new habit every quarter. Just go on dearconstance.com to the page called Rocket Fuel. If you're curious about what we're doing in that group, or hopefully you want to participate in the call, you need to go on dearconstance.com and click on a box where it either says episode alerts, or I think the other one says actually, I'm in, send me updates. And when you go onto the form, click the second box that says Rocket Fuel, and you'll get the link to our call on Sunday. So yeah, I'm thinking about the call. I'm thinking about what I want 2024 to look like. And as I said in a previous episode this week, I've never done this before. I've never called people together on a call. And in doing so, I'm pushing myself to be a beginner at something because I firmly believe that your willingness to be a beginner is very much about the power of getting outside of your comfort zone and cultivating curiosity in your life. And by the way, as it pertains to curiosity, I'd like to draw your attention to an area of my website called On My Radar. It's at the bottom of both the About page and I think the Listen page. And it's where I post things that spark my interest or inspire me. It could be street quotes, events I'm going to, things I'm reading or listening to. And I just this week posted the link to a conversation between Reed Hoffman and Brian Glazer on curiosity. It's fabulous, and I've listened to it many times, so I encourage you to go check that out. So I'll end there and say this. If you haven't already, and if you're at all curious, please go on to dearconstance.com and sign up for our Rocket Fuel call this Sunday, February 4th at 4 p.m. I sure hope to see you there. That's all for now. Until next time, from my heart to yours. <laughs>